there's also uh, no clear pricing policies or business model that can also contribute to motivating people outside the community to come and suggest apps and uh, be able to monetize this effort. Uh, so uh, what this uh, uh, socio-technical perspective brought in understanding the process of uh, developing this uh, LMIS uh, apps for the GST. First of all, focusing on uh, people, their the demands expressed, and also uh, the IT systems available and their challenges, we are able to have a better understanding of uh, what was uh, making, for instance, the LMS solutions that are implemented, what are making them uh, fail. For instance, we are able to look at the fact that uh, this system will make we were lacking the consumption and mobility data. And this system had a very limited user base, meaning that only those concerned with uh, stock management are using this system, while both uh, the, the health uh, centers managers, uh, district health management teams also need to have information on uh, inventory or stock management in order to uh, better plan uh, the allocation of uh, resources. So uh, losing or looking also at, uh, uh, it was also helpful in looking at the fact that the lack of capacity uh, in the context was impeding the integration work to make the LMS system talk to DHS to, to leverage on both consumption and uh, inventory uh, mobility data that is already available in DHS2. And also using this concept of uh, socio-technical generativity, it was possible to look at the complex web of uh, actors in this ecosystem, look at uh, the demands for, uh, for instance, uh, global donor or global agencies like a, a global phone, who are far outside the technological uh, ecosystem of uh, this system, expressing, expressing some demand for good indicators to better monitor how the, the problems are going. So getting this demand and sensing this demand uh, by the sense of this demand by implementers at country level, these implementers were able to transmit this uh, uh, demand to the regional nodes, West Africa, which in turn as well has made some workarounds through uh, these uh, logistic management apps, which were able to leverage on existing data in DHS2 to provide this useful information, both for the stock management community, but also for the overall uh, health factors in the, in the country. And at the same time, using this uh, uh, generative relationship uh, concept is West Africa was not only talking to the DHS implementers, but also at the upward level, we were also able to talk with uh, the DHS2 uh, developers community to advocate on the potentials for having this functionality into DHS2 and not only as a workaround. So now this uh, uh, functionality is being developed into DHS2 as a generic solution, which we now uh, provide the possibility for DHS2 to expand not only into the LMS, but also can be used into many other domains. So this system will be available from uh, 